It's Eddie, we're here today in uh, Wolverhampton, the I-9 building. The, the Housing Ministry has confirmed that this is where it's going to have its base outside of London. This is good news for the city and good news for the black countries, is it not? Rogers, it really is. I mean, the kind of beyond Westminster project of moving you know, good quality, stable employment up to here, I think it's going to be a tremendous boost. And as you say, not just for Wolverhampton, but it's a very short travelling distance, my own constituency. Communication links are improving. I think it's great news for the region. This, we, we heard previously that the long-term plan was to have this have one site initially and then for the, the Ministry to build their own base. Is that still the plan? Uh, I have to say my understanding is only kind of one step at a time, the two floors that we're going to take in here. So uh, we'll get that fully staffed up and then see where we go from there. And one of your colleagues, Chris Pincher, said last week that he was expecting 250 staff here. We understand it's at least 150. What, what are the sort of staffing numbers that you understand? And is the scope for that number to increase in the years to come? Yeah, I mean, the intention, obviously, is to have 500 people across the West Midlands by 2025 and then push on to 2030 to get more people in. And I think once we prove that the model works and people see that there's opportunities for career progression, that ministers are here frequently, this model will kind of flourish so I think there's a great future for Wolverhampton and for the idea of ministries outside of London. And Stuart this is something that you started campaigning for not long after you became an MP this must be great for you to see this coming to fruition. It's, it's amazing it's a dream come to, true for any MP and not only have we seen it get signed and move forward but the speed it's moving forward it's created a huge buzz in the city. DWP have already recruited uh, local residents to start working with MHCLG that's moved fast but the fact that we're going to be here imminently is great. I-9 I've called for it in Parliament and said Let, let's go for it. It's straight out of the station you see a brilliant part of the city and I'm just going to keep championing more investment and keep bringing it into the city. This region has been hit harder than most by the pandemic. The, there was a shortage of jobs and high unemployment, particularly youth unemployment, before the pandemic hit. That situation's got worse. Uh, how important are things like this for, for getting us back on the right track? They're very important. They are just one part of it. So this uh, next week I'm meeting with the 10 biggest businesses like your JLRs, Marstons and all that, and the Minister and the DWP of how we get the Kickstarter programmes, how we get people into employment. There is a, a huge willingness to get people into this employment. But Wolverhampton has had over average unemployment and we want to see that change and we believe we're going to see that change. Eddie, I just wanted to ask you as well, if I may, um, we're seeing increasing cases of the Indian variant of the, the virus around the West Midlands. We know the numbers are growing. They're, they're still quite small, but they're growing by the day. If these figures continue to rise, would you support the delaying of, uh, of lifting the restrictions uh, next month? I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we've seen the effectiveness once people have had two doses, particularly against this new variant. So I feel I'm still feeling confident that we're going to be in a good position. And just finally, the, the allegations that Dominic Cummings has been making this week, what, what's your take on that? Should the public be concerned about some of the things that he's saying? Well, whether they should or not, I can only say from my own experience, they're not. So over in Warsaw, I've had no emails about it and on social media, nobody's talking to me about it in terms of my constituents. So I think it's something that's been heavily focused on by the media and people in London, but I think everybody else is more interested in, are they going to be able to travel for their holiday? When can we get the football stadiums full again? And let's look forward rather than look backward. Just finally, uh, there's a huge backlog of operations in the NHS, we know things like hip replacements, uh, knee surgery, that sort of thing, back surgery, um, has, has been building up over the period of the pandemic. We've had the, the Royal College of Surgeons saying today they want a network of hospital sites focusing on these routine surgeries. Is that something that you would like to see the government support? Well, it certainly sounds like an interesting suggestion and I'm sure Matt Hancock is working with the NHS and that'll be one of the big priorities for us to tackle as we move out of lockdown and kind of tackle the aftermath of the pandemic. So um, I'm sure Matt is on it.